this is the end. Hello everyone. Yeah, um, apologies for the slightly um, clickbaity title, but I just thought it worked because weirdly enough, this is something that's come up a few times. And strangely enough, it came up as part of an interview I did for the Norwich Evening News, um, which also appeared in the Eastern Daily Press, which was absolutely awesome. So th thank you once again to um, Francis for doing the article on that and Denise who came around and did some photos for us so there we go and uh yeah and also just to address the thing on twitter it's like why do you look like bill gates which to be honest i've had that angry video game nerd i don't know elvis costello i mean basically why do you ordinary bloke in glasses look like bloke in glasses okay anyway moving on uh yeah so why did I want to discuss this? Well, like I say, a few things kind of came together. So people have asked me before, like, what do you want to do once you've finished doing these comics? And like I say, it also came up because pretty big thing that happened over the weekend. I wrote the final script for Rain City Chronicles. Now, just to put this in context, because I think some people misunderstood this. We are currently working on issue five. And issue 9 will be the last issue, so there's going to be still time to get all this stuff done. So it'll be at least four years if everything goes perfectly smoothly. And I don't want to jinx that for, well, obvious reasons. <laughs> because of things that have happened. But, um, yes, yeah, but it's been really good. And I think the... Um, progress that Claude is making is absolutely fantastic the art looks great I'm really excited with what we've got for issue five I think the idea I always had was that we wanted to do a complete story so the idea of like I say something like say Akira or the original because I know that there's been like titles since then but like the original Watchmen graphic novel where there is this cohesive story and you read it and like if you read it from start to finish you get it like that is the story and it's and it's contained and it works now some people have asked me like you know what about say a prequel so bless him time master who's been an absolutely massive fan for us was like saying like well i'd love to see a, a prequel about um wrote cole the mechanic because like i say he does have quite a rich backstory that could be mine for that i mean if someone wanted to do that i would definitely have a word with them but yeah, like I said, we're talking about sort of right here and now. And I I personally wouldn't want to sort of go into like prequels, sequels, spin-offs, whatever. First and foremost, I want to get this thing done. I want to get it done as well as we can do it with the best artists we can work with. Because so far it's been absolutely fantastic and we've been lucky to have a wonderful range of people work on this. Speaking of which, we also had someone else come on board um, over the weekend. Um, so a big thank you to Ivan Wilkinson, who is going to come on board as the voice of Squirmy. Now, for those of you who know, Squirmy is kind of a cult favourite character. He's, um, for the people that don't know, he's a blue liquid metal squirrel. And he was originally Mega Fox's second in command, but then things things go wrong. So... He's a fun character, and having him come up against AK Girl is going to be an interesting matchup. And there's more to it. I don't want to go into, like, there's a bigger story that sort of comes off the back of this, but I can't really sort of go into it too much, because we're getting into spoiler territory after that. But I am very excited. Um, oh yeah, I also got to see, bless him, the absolutely awesome Sky the Wolf, who got me one of his iconic... Uh, body pillow so thank you thank you very much Sky that is absolutely wonderful and to be honest like I say meeting with him and Starlight and getting to show them around Norwich and um, give them a little bit of a talk because they're both absolutely awesome people and I loved chatting and hanging out with them and they're so decent and like I say I'm hopeful like I say we're going to be doing some more stuff with them soon so that'd be great um, but yeah I mean another thing that people have talked about and, and like I say again fairly recently I had someone on Demon and Art I'm really sorry I should have got the name before I recorded this but I didn't so apologies there um, and it said about like have you thought about doing an animated series and of course you have to cut, I had to kind of laugh a bit because 
that was something we worked on for quite a while. We had some terrific people do um, voice acting for us. So people like Holly McKeown, Linda Hook, Mark Margerson, who did a terrific job. Um, and as I say, we had people like Samuel Victor working on it. And it was so lovely because we had like a couple of weeks where we used like my dad's old um, trade counter as a makeshift studio. And we were like recording audio there. And it was just great. It was a really fun experience. And I'm sorry that we couldn't translate it into animation pilot, but I think it was so tricky and trying to balance that, the comic and some other ideas, it got too much. So my feeling at the minute is that I really want not just not just to finish Reynolds City Chronicles, because that obviously that's part of it. I want this to be a complete thing, but also to make this as good as possible. And this is the thing when I'm talking about the end of this it's both the end but also like how far can we take this because like I say I have people asking for things like I say what about this what about a video game and there is one very simple answer and it's an answer you expect me to say but it's also true if you buy the comics if you crowdfund if you subscribe to this channel if you share this if you make fan art if you do like any number of these things which to be fair a lot of people are already doing so like Rev701 who got the £100 um, uh, cameo uh, package on Kofi which like I say we still got three slots available on that you know super grateful you know people that um, like I say that share our posts like bless him like Martin Williams and that you know sharing our posts all the time getting stuff out there it all matters because like I say going back to the article and the reason why these things are important is people who I would never expect to even vaguely engage what we're doing like I, I was in the news agent talking to you know this fantastic woman that you know I, you know who sort of lets me know if my paper's in and she was like oh I saw you on saw you in the paper and you know I you know that was really cool you know you know you know good luck to you and you know and I had text from people who I hadn't heard from in a while and getting messages of support and it's absolutely wonderful you know it's wonderful when people sort of say oh well done and and that's fantastic and uh, you know and it's always lovely to receive that but what you've got to remember is like I say this is a team effort and just with like I say just with the Chronicles stuff you know Nicholas and Sid terrific with issue one Joe and Sally Arc freak Issue two, completely different style, but awesome. Issue three, Emily Bandicoot, bless her, worked so hard. And again, terrific job. Um, our Anon issue four artist, again, worked so hard. Managed to, you know, did a good job. And managed to get it in a month before deadline. And that is work. Like, in all of these cases, 40 pages of artwork is hard. I'm, I am not going to do this down for a second. But this is why, you know, we want to give them a year to get this done to give them the time they need but the trade-off with this because like I say I've had you know obviously people in the past say oh you need to get a budget you need to you know do this better you're not wrong it does have to be done better but it's not the case of click your fingers everything's done better life isn't like that it, it was about sort of changing processes changing the way we approach it giving people that freedom but equally for me as well with the writing being able to write a larger story for like 40 pages as opposed to 22 that kind of gave us a little bit more freedom and I think over the course of these nine issues you're going to see like I say how this story develops how the characters develop and that you know it's going to be a challenge I'm you know and I'm reserving the right that things might change over the course of these next four or five years like nothing barring like I say the issues that are already out and the ones we're currently working on nothing's really set in stone things could shift things could change but you know there's a lot that we've got on and I'm really excited because I'm hoping for more great things like I said like doing the, the trailers with, with the terrific voice actors and hopefully more 8k august stuff and we've got events coming up there's you know this is a very exciting year um oh speaking of which massive thing that we're, i'm going to be working on over the next couple of days so um bonehead brian um he's on on twitch he had an idea with us for hosting a podcast 
I said we decided to make a pilot and we recorded that over the weekend with um, uh, Andrew James Dean and Holly Harrington Bull, so the voices of Wonder Vixen and Hyper Rob respectively. And yeah, it's so much fun. We, we had some really like fun moments and conversations that went off in various directions. So this is going to have to be kind of shaped a bit. But oh my gosh, it was terrific. And I think Brian was an absolutely excellent host. And, and Andrew and Holly, both very entertaining. Some great stories, some great anecdotes, you know, some great insight. And I think we'll try and get in as much of that as we can and sort of see how it goes. But like I say, if you want to watch that, that is going to be exclusive to crowdfunding. So whether that's Ko-fi, Patreon, um, the Deviant Art Folder, whatever, that is, that's where you're going to get it. I'll put, I'll put um, links in for it, links in for everyone. Um, and basically every time you donate to that as well, as, like I say, as well as getting that as an exclusive, you're giving, giving a little bit more to help make this project happen. But like I say, this is one of those things like, you know, obviously I've seen all these things like off the back of other films and that where there's like a campaign of, oh, we want this and we want that. And that's great. But here's the thing. You have the chance to make this happen as well. This is, this is what I'm saying now. Like, can you imagine if you were at the start and you help, say, make Scott Pilgrim happen. You know, like, they're talking about that getting an animated series. Like, imagine if you were at the start of that and you, you helped create that. Wouldn't that be amazing? And I'm just saying, you have this chance now. I mean, again, I'll, I'll do, like, obviously, because I'm seeing that the minutes are kind of ticking by here, so I'll do, like, one quick story. So I had someone who, bless them, um was willing to sort of say like I will be your agent for this thing so I pitched Raynor City to a production company and the production company um, made one of my favourite TV shows um, it was like a BBC show um, I'm probably not going to name names just to be on the safe side but we got to the stage where this production company who made this thing that I absolutely love read the scripts for an idea for six episodes of a potential series it didn't happen because they decided that this wasn't the thing that they wanted to do and that's absolutely fine but that was that stage now let's say we go you know we carry on here we get this this comic series done we let's say there are more sales of this comic let's say people start talking about it let's say there are memes let's say there are you know let, 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 let's say there is like let's say this momentum of people saying we should get this thing made this is what I want to see this is what I'd want in a show or game or whatever then people have to pay attention that's the thing and you know like I said one voice even off the back of one article in a regional paper it got a little bit more attention and that is awesome and I know that nobody has to do I just want to make clear as well you if I if you think that I'm sort of commanding you to do anything I'm not nobody has to do anything nobody no nobody owes anybody anything I'm just gonna say that here and now what I am saying is that this can happen that things that have seemed unlikely can happen that the Avengers can film in Norwich um, you know that uh, like I said there's like a South you know a South Korean TV show becomes like the biggest hit on Netflix like stuff can happen and it's not you know as linear as it once was there are opportunities and what would be absolutely amazing is if we really go for this because like I say We've had more people by the country of Kofi. We've had more people like, bless them, Ollie at Canary Comics, absolute legend. He's pushed it and we're getting more and more sales through him. You know, it's that little bit more. It's that little step forward. You know, if we hit that £200 target on Kofi and we can get a print run where we can 
make it a bit more, more affordable and then that means we can give more money to, to the artists and that means they want to stay on board all of that can happen and we're talking like I say um, if everyone on t and not even everyone that follows us on Twitter so uh, I think we're over 7,000 at the minute so yeah keep it around up set 7,000 each of them donates one dollar to the patreon that's seven thousand dollars and we could do a lot with that kind of money and that's on a very basic level so what i'm asking because i know it's hard because it's january people have less money it's tough i get it but what i am saying is we have an opportunity and we've had lots of great people do some fun you know we've had some fantastic fan art we have had Obviously, some great people work on this comic. We've had work with tremendous artists and actors and musicians and all these incredible creative people who've made this. And for me personally, I don't know about you, what is it? Why have I kept doing this over these years? And I'd flip that round. I think there's something there. What exactly is there? I'm not 100% sure. But it's enough that people want to read. It's enough that people want to engage. It's enough that we have people that stick around. So like I say, like your, as I say, like people, like Bless Him, like Time Master, like, you know, all these people that um, keep coming back and keep reading and supporting. And it, it means a lot to me, but it has to mean something to other people as well because they're they're part of it too and I love the fact that you know this is a group project and let's see how far we can take this so to kind of end this <laughs> so yeah so for the video talking about the end of Reynard City uh, to sort of paraphrase the Ma Matrix the first one we're not telling you how, how this is ending we're telling you how this is beginning and it's beginning if you want to be a part of it, if you want to share this, if you want to not only, like, as I say, put a quid in the Patreon, put a quid in the Kofi, but let other people know you're doing it. Subscribe to the channel. Let other people know that you're following us. It all makes a difference. Every last one. And even though, like I said, I won't be able to like name all the names because I always try to on the Follow Friday and I don't always get all the names, but this is so important. So thank you. Bye.